Hi, this is Jake from Optimus Futures. And in this video, I'll be showing you how to edit the time intervals of your chart, as well as how to customize and change the type of the chart you're working with. So let's start with the different shortcuts we can use for this method here. So to actually change your chart type, it is pretty simple. You can come up here in the top of your platform running along the default chart here that should open up. You'll notice there are quite a few different shortcut uh, icons here at the top. The one we're looking for in this situation is this one right here where my mouse is currently hovering over. You see I have crosshairs activated currently. So if you just line up these crosshairs with my mouse, you'll see this drop down menu right here. And this is where if you'd like, you can change your chart type. So as you can see, there are quite a few different chart types. We have things such as open high low close bars, HLC bars, candlesticks, different trend lines, 3D candlesticks, hike in ashy line charts, percentage change bars, 3D bars, no bars, there's a ton of different options here. So pretty much once you have one in mind, you can just go ahead, left click that, and it'll automatically add it to your chart here. So what we're working with right now is the 3D candlesticks. Now, as far as time interval goes, there is a couple other options that are right here in front of us. The one that is probably most obvious is just a couple icons over to the right of our chart type. As you can see, it's another drop down menu and there are a ton of different intervals here. So one minute, two minute, three minute, four minute, five minute, and then it starts to increase into 10, five minute intervals, then to 10, 15 hourly. Then you have hour and a half, two hours, 10 hours. Then it starts to go into weeks, days, and months. As you can see, there's a ton of different options here. If we want to filter off on one of these time scales, we just left click. The platform takes a second to load and there you have it. So we can see we're on a one month time scale here. So everything for the ESU nine is going to be all the way to the left here. As you can see, it does give us our labels here at the bottom. So that is nice. Let's head back to, we'll do a five minute chart because it is a little overwhelming with your one minute chart here. So we'll scale back out. Now, the one thing I do really like about MotoWave is the fact that you almost get like an active calendar on the bottom of your chart here. So it does show you your graph. It's almost a volume or an area graph down at the bottom of your chart. And it actually breaks down an entire calendar for you. So as you can see in it, and it shows you the line separating each month in between or each day, whatever the time scale you're working with here. So as you can see all the way to our left here is March, 2019, March 24th, April, 2019, April 14th, May, 2019. So you can just filter or you can lock into a specific section on this little area graph down at the bottom here and then zoom in on your actual chart. So you do get the accurate time scale. So that is nice along with the actual time scale you're working with. Now, if you would like to change your time scale and in a different location, you can actually look down right below this area graph. There is another option here. It's there's not as many different options as we did saw with this uh, drop down menu. But as you can see, you do have one minute, five minute, 10 minute, 15 minute, 20 minute intervals, and so on and so forth. Pretty much just left click and your chart will automatically configure for you. So that is quite nice. That's another option you can use. If you want, as you can see, you can right click within that section and it, you can configure it or remove a specific bar size. You can add different bar sizes here. So you have one for each corresponding time interval you have there. So that's nice. They do give you customization options as well with that. So heading on now, just to show you where else you can go a, a bit more into depth with these features is by right clicking on your chart here and then going into chart settings. First, you'll notice though, before we do that, you can actually customize and like I said, get even more in depth here. So as far as time intervals go, if you want to work off a of bar size, you can do so here. If you want to work your charts off of ticks, you can customize that here. You just, of course, left click the following option. And as you can see, it does look a little different with uh, 3D candles there, but this is working off a one tick interval. We can change it off a of volume interval. So let's make it a bit bigger. Let's say 1K volume. 
You can do things such as range. And then of course I do have Rengo bars available as well. So those are the different intervals that you can work with. Now, as far as chart settings go, let's head over into here. And then you can go into bar settings. Of course, here you do have the different types here one more time. Like I kind of mentioned previously and have you may have noticed in some of our other videos, we do have options for bar thickness that you can change. You can change the theme or the scheme, excuse me. So normal inside, outside day of the week, alternate day, alternate hour. You can have your sizes here. So of course, like I showed you, we were working off a of Renko. If you wanted to change it off a tick or bid and ask prices and linear volume, you can do so here. And then of course you have the interval in which your actual bar size or the, uh, the type is working off of your interval. So right here, we do have our interval at two, and then you have a custom, a couple customization options down below that. Other than that, that pretty much covers all the different locations of where you can change your intervals, bar sizes, chart types, and timing. So if you do have any questions on it, feel free to post in the comment section down below or head over to, to our community forum. It's linked in, in the description. So you can take that link and head over to our forum, easily sign up and ask questions there. Other than that, if you did like the video, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe for more MotorWave content. And once again, thanks for watching.